Okay. So these are the, uh, my stamps of uh, Iraq. That's what I'm going to show you today. I have a, a, a few inf uh, information here before. So uh, Iraq, it was a uh, former name was uh, Mesopotamia, you know, was uh, uh, part of Turkey. And then after World War I was uh, mandated to Great uh, Britain. And then uh, Great Britain created that kingdom of Iraq under British administration. Okay, so the, the, the first stamp of the kingdom is this second stamp in here, a little green, is a, I think it's a, a, a Sunni mosque in here. So this, this was issued in 1923, and you see the currency are annas, annas and, and rupees. So this was the first stamp of the kingdom. The next stamp is that uh, King Faisal is the first uh, king of Iraq. There were only three kings, so this was the first. And then the next stamp is the, the same king, a little later, looks a little older in here. And now the currency change, you know, so it used to be rupees, now they, they are uh, dinars and fills. So this happened in 1932. Because in 1932, uh, Iraq got an independence from Britain. Right? So they changed the currency at that time. And, and the last stamp that I have here is the last king of Iraq. So this is the, the third king. His name was uh, Faisal II. So actually, this stamp was uh, printed uh, after he was dead. Because th this stamp is... Uh, uh, this letter says something like uh, Republic of Iraq. S so th they abolish that uh, monarchy, but they re reduce this stamp and they obliterate a little bit his face. You still can see it clear, but uh, the idea was to cover his face and the re Republic of Iraq. Now, if we go back to the first one, so this stamp was issued before uh, Great Britain uh, actually had a mandate. Uh, Great Britain occupy uh, Iraq in here. So if you can read, it says in British occupation. So this is uh, some university in Istanbul. Now, if you can see here on top, on the left side, you see posters, Ottoman, you know, because they use uh, some of the stamps used in, in Turkey by the Ottoman Empire. Uh, then later uh, here, lower on the right side, I just got a small map of Iraq. So you have to locate where is uh, Iraq. You know, you have Turkey, Syria, Jordan, Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, and Iran. So the, I guess this is like the, the Middle East uh, is where Iraq is pretty much located. So now I'm going to show you the stamps. The, the stamps are very, very uh, colorful, you know, very, very nice, very nice stamps. So this is a stamp number one. Uh, as I said, it's, it's an, a Sunni mosque, and then some type of boats and uh, Tigris, and, and some other colorful stamps. This one in here I read, Tessiphon Ark. Th this is a, an ancient uh, uh, construction arc arch of uh, you know of the Persian Empire from the past. You know, very very old, very symbolic of that. And, and then some other uh, stamps. So, some are repeated in different color, different values. Then uh, here you see the king again, King Faisal. At this moment, still they are using uh, rupees and annas in here. Okay. So this is the last stamp before the independence of Iraq from uh, Great Britain. So now here you can see similar stamps, but now the currency change, right? So instead of annas, now they got uh, fields. And instead of rupees, you got uh, dinars. Now similar stamps, but now instead of have the currency overprinted, the is, is just actually as a part of the stamps. It, now in the first row in here, you still see King Faisal 
And then uh, after the last stamp, he died from a heart attack. And then his son, uh, Ghazi, became the second king of Iraq. This is the son uh, mausoleum for uh, his father, uh, King Faisal. And this is uh, known as uh, the Lion of Babylon. I think it's a very symbolic uh, symbol in Iraq. And this is some type of uh, tower. It's a minaret and it's in uh, Samara. Oh, okay, okay, great, thank you. W what's going to happen after here? Then uh, Kasi, the second king, after this stamp, he dies in, in a car crash. Okay. And he only has one son, and his son is only three years old. And this becomes the last king of Iraq uh, under the name Faisal II. But he, he, he was only three, so he couldn't really actually rule the country at three. So, so they, had, they had like a, a regent, somebody to uh, rule the country until he was 18 years old. However, they, they printed the stamps of that king even he wasn't ruling. Uh, here is the same king, a little bit older, but still young. And uh, here, this is some type of, uh, maybe like a souvenir sheet of uh, perforated stamps of the king as a young boy. Here's some more pictures of, of that uh, young king. Here, uh, similar, uh, uh, souvenir sheet, but now they are imperforated. Uh, then they, 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 this was uh, his father, uh, King Gassi, and this is Faisan the first. Now this is the king getting a little bit older, you know, teenager probably, and some other uh, uh, stamps of him. Now here he becomes 18 years old, and you see the crown in here. So he became uh, 18 years old. And uh, they issued this nice uh, souvenir sheet for the coronation, 1953. So you, you see Faisal the second in here, you know, some uh, activities, uh, things that they, he was involved, you know, in getting the country ahead. Now, what happened in here? So after this stamp, uh, th there was a coup and uh, uh, he was killed. You know, it's called uh, July 14 uh, revolution. Yeah, in 1958. So, so he was killed with all his family, his wife and all, all the relatives. And uh, so uh, and it happened that the same, the same day of the revolution, July 14. Now the next stamps, so he was already dead, but they used the stamp they try to obliterate a little bit his face. You know, uh, Alan uh, did some presentation a while ago about uh, stamps obliterated. And I was very interested in the presentation. But so this is a different type of obliteration stamps. Uh, and so they keep doing this for, for I think uh, about two years. They try to cover their faces as much as they can. E e even you actually can see the, the, the face in there. Then they start uh, printing their own stamps, uh, Republic of, uh, you can see Republic of Iraq, and this is some type of uh, symbol of the Republic. And uh, you see some, some type of uh, war activities or, or celebrations actually of the war. And uh, this, this was the prime minister that uh, ruled the country for a few years. This general was uh, Kasim. So he was ruling the country, and uh, so he appears in, in different stamps. So he was part, of course, part of the revolution, and uh, one of the, the people who decided uh, that uh, to execute a king. Okay, so he, he appears in, in other different stamps in here. Now uh, around here. And uh, uh, he actually, uh, Kasim, was executed. So, so uh, there was the uh, Ramadan uh, revolution, and they execute him now. So that was his turn. So 
uh, you know, whatever, what do they say, whatever comes goes or something like that. Yeah. So he was executed, and here this is one year after the revolution of Ramadan. Here you see the new person in charge, that's a president Arif. Arif. So, so you, and, and you see some acts of celebration, army activities. This is some eradication of, I don't remember what it was. I think it's paludism or something. And then these are souvenir sheets of uh, some uh, communication, uh, perforated and imperforated in here. And th this is a celebration of uh, Mohammed's uh, birthday, the prophet. Mm -hmm. And then a, a President Arif in here. And he has a, a few, uh, I guess, sacres, uh, uh, popular activity, and then uh, President Arif in here. Okay, so that was the last of my stamps, regular stamps. Now, these are official stamps, and they, they, they actually almost the same as the previous one. They just have a, on a state a service in some places, going in this way, sideways in some cases too. And then you, you see that, that King Faisal, more King Faisal than uh, King Gassi in here, the Lion of Babylon, Faisal II, and this is a specimen stamp. Also, also here you can tell, hey, this is the, the beginning of the revolution because they obliterate the faces yeah. of, of the, the, the rulers. Uh, but this is a service uh, official stamps. Now, I guess they weren't happy with the, the obliteration of the stamps and they said, hey, let's do it more clear. Uh, and they they did it uh, actually now, you can see less of the faces. You cannot see the, the eyes as well. yeah. Now, so that's the end of that uh, uh, official stamps. Now, these stamps in here, they, they are called like uh, uh, tax stamps. So they were create uh, these particular ones for the aid of Palestine. So these were created during the that, uh, uh, kingdom of uh, the was Faisal, Faisal II, who was in charge. So they, they, they aid uh, Palestine with the stamps. Now the ones in here, these are her postal stamps. Mm -hmm. And now, her mail stamps, that's correct. Now, these are the ones, remember at the beginning, I showed you one before the kingdom, there were stamps the, uh, uh, the, when uh, Great Britain occupied uh, Iraq after World War I, after defeating the Ottoman Empire, and they uh, overprinted the stamp with the, in British occupation. They, they're actually very nice stamps. Yeah. With a lot, a lot of details, you know, the beautiful stamps really like it a lot. A lot of work, I guess they had a lot of artists, people doing that. So uh, now this is just a souvenir sheet of that uh, uh, airmail stamps. Uh, here is a perforated and the next one, see, very similar, but just in perforated stamps. And uh, that's it. That's the end of the presentation.